Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card of someone who's feeling quite guarded. Um, this is someone who's feeling a bit distrustful and indecisive. They feel like they need more information, and as a result, there's this feeling of not moving forward. Um, there's a stalemate that's being created here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, Air Energy. The seven of swords air energy and the moon pisces energy so you could have dealt with someone who was sneaky deceptive with the moon card they definitely kept secrets and created illusions and it's like a veil has been lifted with the queen of swords energy it's like you you found out something about someone um you're seeing that someone is a bit shady with the seven of swords energy being there and there's this feeling of developing a no-nonsense attitude towards this person it's like you're putting your guard up you feel like you need to protect yourself from this person and there's even a feeling of being ready to cut something of someone out here with the queen of swords you could confront this person even um, but there's definitely a feeling of you dealing with someone who you don't trust okay so let's clarify these cards gemini Okay, so we have the four of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so you could be turning someone down here you could be rejecting someone someone who is trying to i'm seeing this person is trying to get away with something but you're too smart for them there's this feeling of you seeing right through them and with this four of cups you could be turning them down whatever they're offering you it's like it's um there's something there's some sort of strings attached to this offer or there's something um untrustworthy about what they're offering you and with that queen of swords energy it looks like you're picking up on that so you are um kind of not accepting the offer here okay so let's see okay we have the strength card leo energy we have the four of pentacles earth energy and we have the king of cups water energy okay so there is definitely a feeling of you standing up for yourself with the strength card you're, you're definitely showing up as confidence you know this is how you're being viewed there's this feeling of um really standing up for yourself and holding your ground here you could have some sort of confrontation with this person because it looks like you're calling someone out with the queen of swords it can be quite blunt energy and with the four of pentacles it's holding on to what you have not giving anything away to someone because there's this feeling of you know with the seven of swords it's like this person could be trying to take something that they don't deserve they could be trying to manipulate or be sneaky in the situation so it does look like you're holding back from giving to this person and this could even just be holding back from giving to them emotionally because that um king of cups is this um emotionally controlled energy emotionally mature energy and with the queen of swords there is definitely that energy of um kind of removing your feelings from the situation so that you can be objective and more logical in the situation so it does look like you're not giving someone the reaction that they're looking for or you're not giving them what they're trying to take from you without you know deserving it okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um gemini
Okay, so we have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So it does look like someone is not getting away with something. It's like this person wanted to do something quite deceptive or sneaky or underhanded, but you're you're not then you're not allowing it. There's this feeling of you being safe, you being protected. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out another card for you. So we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this could be someone you had genuine feelings for, but it looks like you woke up to something or you're seeing through something here. A veil has been lifted. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, so we have blissful pleasure. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. So it looks like you're doing what's best for you here. There is advice to really uh, listen to your body, your intuition here as well. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your uh, advice, Gemini. So we have surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.